Hey there, Facebook. How is everybody doing today? This is Mark Nelson uh, from Knoxville, Tennessee, coming come live today and and uh, talking about uh, seven, or excuse me, five tips to rock your Facebook lives. And I'll probably give more because I tend to talk a little bit about this and I do like Facebook Live. I'm kind of waiting for uh, some people to join in and see what's up. Hey, Reese Thomas, how are you doing today? So anyway, the five tips for race, excuse me, five tips to rock Facebook Live. The first one is, you know, use a title that's really going to entice people, right? It, and what people do is, is they're going around Facebook. One, if they're going to get notice that you're live, if the title just kind of jumps out at them, they're going to come on, right? It's a so the first thing is really create a good title. And then I suggest emojis. I, I really do. And if you see on this one I did today, I, I put a couple on the left and a couple on the right. And people tend to look towards the right, so I make sure I have some on the right. And I didn't do this earlier, but I really do. I think the first people you know, that see your Facebook Live as you're talking are the people that come on the replay. Right? So you got to talk to them. So please, if you're coming on the replay, please, you know, tell me where you're coming from. Make a comment, you know, where are you, where are you live and from or where are you coming from and, and your name so I can kind of comment out to you. If you like what I got, click the like button, the heart button, and please share. You know, share and it helps other people too. So I'll share yours, you share mine. So anyway, the first tip is use a title that's catchy and put it in, in emojis. Um, and then talk to, to the replay people, right? Because they're the first ones going to see it. You know, when when it comes on your screen, if you're not right here, they're going to come on my my uh, uh, timeline and, and they'll see it and click that play button and then they see what's going on. All right. So the sec the third one is, you know, you got to create a hashtag in. Uh, there's some really creative people out there. I'm in a coaching program and my coach has has to hashtag lunch money. I mean that is so memorable. I have hashtag live with Mark, live with Mark, or hashtag live with Mark, hashtag MJ. And why I do if people want to see all my lives, they just click on the hashtag and they get to go see all my live feeds. So you want to do that too. Now I wish I was creative enough to where I had lunch money, but I can't steal that because Ryan McMorris has that already. So he's on there. So hey, I'm seeing more and more people on. Please, you know, comment below where you're live and from. You know, make some comments, and, and we'll see if we can get this thing rocking. You know, I'm reading notes, and that's one thing, is I don't read scripts. Uh, but I do read notes. You know, I, I made, made some uh, bullet points I want to talk about, and, you know, they were going to talk about five of them. So, you know, I tend to forget as I'm talking to more and more people on here, because Facebook Live is just like a, you know, I'm in a room talking to people. As I see more people coming on, they're leaving their comments in the in the comment stream so I can talk to them. And um, so what you really want to do is, is I make bullet points and I use sticky notes. So they're, they're over whatever I'm in my car. So they're actually on my dashboard. So they're just below here. So if you see me looking below, that's what I'm doing. I'm kind of trying to keep my place where I'm at so I don't lose it and mumble too much. So again, you know, I love likes. Tell me where you're from and share if you can. If you get any value from this, just share, please. The fourth tip, we've got three, I'm going to four, is once it's done, you got to syndicate this post, right? I mean, I do it on my profile. I share it to my business page. I'm trying to get my business page more active. So I share it there. I'm going to record it. So I download it. And then I send it up to YouTube. And the reason being is Facebook is, is a big, big, right? But sometimes all of a sudden my Facebook lives are gone. So I'll throw it up on YouTube. And I might put it in a blog post, and I might, if once it's up on YouTube, I can actually take little pieces of that and kind of put it wherever I need to go. Hey, Bernard, glad you're here. So anyway, it's a, so four things so far. The fifth was have notes. And I already talked about that because I need notes. I, I really do. And, I, and again, I don't read scripts. I never will read scripts. Uh, one, because I, I would really get lost, to tell you the truth. And this is a conversation. You know, I think the first one I did, I had scripts, but then I got had to get away from them because more and more people come on and I want to talk to them. Uh, and as they leave comments, I want to see what they're doing and see if I can help. 
So we've talked about a headline. We've talked about talking to the people that are going to come on the replay, creating hashtags, syndicate your posts, have notes ready. The sixth one, oh, you can see I'm reading, is you got to record these, right? And that's what we really kind of talked about. And you can record them and download them on your, on a, you know, I download them MP4 off my hard drive, off my MacBook when I get home, and then I'm going to upload it to YouTube. And then I'm going to actually put it in a blog, blog post. I'll either break it up or I'll take the whole Facebook Live and put it into a blog post. The seventh one, I tell you what, this is the most important, is have a call to action. Now, when I started, I used to put them up right underneath my headline. But, you know, Facebook thinks what you're trying to do is is really, I don't want to say you're spamming, but you're, it's more like advertising. So what I'll do is, is if I want people to go somewhere, I'll put it in the comments below after I'm done. Or if I'm using two devices, if I'm using my my uh, iPhone, my iPad, I'll be typing it on my iPad as I'm doing this. So in the comments, people are going to be able to see where I'm going. Now, the other day I was giving one on Wednesday, and we had a big webinar by my coach that I wanted people to see. So I put it in the comments right below, and I actually had people that got to go on and see that great webinar. So that's the seventh one. Let's have a call to action and say, hey, if you're watching this, please share it. You know, sharing gives value. So if you get value from this, let your friends see it. You know, I do these every day, and uh, I know I give great value out. So just please share. Give me some likes, thumbs up, hearts, whatever you need to have. The last one, I don't even know what number I'm at anymore, is I think you got to be consistent. I don't think. You need to be consistent. I do these five, six days a week. Uh, I was doing them around noon, but I ended up at noon. I'm in a place where there is a very poor internet connection. So I, I found out my, the quality of the videos coming over wasn't very good. So now I'm coming home right as I get home. and I usually do them right in my vehicle because I just want to get it done. I don't want to say I want to get it done, but I don't want to get upstairs and my wife's home and um, that's her time, right? So I, I do them now before the night gets on. But consistent can be anything. Right? If you're going to do Facebook Live, maybe it's once a week, but be consistent. Or maybe it's two times a week, three times a week. If you have an email list, send it out to your email list. Say, hey, I'm going live at 4.30. See, I go live every day at 4.30-ish, somewhere around there. But if you're going to be consistent, send it out. Put a post on Facebook. Hey, I'm going live at 4.30 Eastern Time. I'm going live at 12.30 Eastern Time. So whatever, right? But just be consistent so people start seeing you and start knowing you're on Facebook Live. So again, the five tips I was giving you, actually, I don't even know how many I gave you. More than that, use a title. Catchy title with emojis, right? So that's just one tip. Two is when you first start talking as Facebook's trying to generate people coming on your Facebook Live, talk to replay viewers. Because they're going to be on here first. So when they click that button, just tell them, hey, could you tell me where you're coming from? You know, put a name in your comment. And let me, you know, I'll reply to all comments and kind of go from there. And then if the replay people, they sometimes they come on and they see you kind of waiting for the people to come on. Well, tell them, hey, skip ahead a minute to the content. Because if they come on for five tips and I don't start the five tips right away, they kind of, I, I might lose them. So if I say, hey, skip ahead a minute, you're going to hear where the five tips start, Tarly. That helps them, and they like that. So again, I'm seeing more and more people come on. Just if you can give me some likes, put in the comments where you're from. I really appreciate that. If you get value, please share. So the third one is you got to create your own hashtag. I really think that's important. So people can find your Facebook Lives, right? Again, mine is hashtag live with Mark, All right? Syndicate your posts. I gotta have some notes or bullet points, right? I just I think you need to have them ready because sometimes you end up start talking to friends and you forget what you're talking about. The sixth one is record your Facebook lives. I'm down picking up my piece of paper, right? Record them, download them, put them up to YouTube, uh, use them in your blogs. The seventh one is hey. You got to have a call to action, all right? 
head over to marknelsononline.com. Grab my 22-page PDF on how you can use social media to brand you. That's call to action. Call to action is share this. If you get value, share this. Comment below. But usually I use one. And I usually send people to either my blog or to a webinar I'm, I'm giving. And the last one is be consistent. You know, if you want people to get to know you, you want to get a lot of people on your Facebook lives. You got to be consistent. They got to know where you are and who you are. So, hey, like, if you got any value, make a comment, please. Share it. Get some great comment sharing out there. Head over to marknelsononline.com. Grab my PDF. And we will talk again tomorrow soon. Glad you're all here. Have a blessed day. Bye.